My learning target is I can determine solutions for problems involving the area or unknown sides of trapezoids where dimensions are positive rational numbers. So we are going to find the area of a trapezoid. Um, a trapezoid is a polygon and it has one pair of parallel sides. To find the area of a trapezoid, use the formula one half times base one plus base two times height, or you can do base one plus base two times height divided by two. So the height of the trapezoid always needs to make a right angle, which is a 90 degree angle. So if I look at this picture, picture of a trapezoid over here, this is the height. It makes a right angle. Um, and it makes a right angle with a base or one of the bases. Um, and then my bases are, this is base one and this is base two. So my steps to solve an area problem is I need to write the formula. I need to substitute what I know. And then I'm going to solve it. Okay, let's do example number one. It says find the area of the trapezoid. So I'm going to identify the height, which is right here. It makes the right angle with the base. And then I have base one and base two. So I'm going to start with my formula. Substitute what I know. And then I'm going to solve this. All right, example number two says find the area of the trapezoid. I'm going to identify my bases, base one and base two. This is my my height right here. Makes my right angle with one of my bases. I'm going to write my formula and then substitute what I know. So that area is 3.75 inches squared. All right, number one says find the area of the trapezoid. I'm going to identify my height and the two bases. Write my formula.
So area equals 11.88 inches squared. All right, example number two, find the area of the trapezoid. This is my height, my two bases, going to write my formula. So my area equals 13 inches squared. All right, number three, we're finding the area again. This is my height. Oops. Height. Bases. Write my formula. My answer is area equals 27.5 inches squared. Okay, so now we may have problems that it gives us the area, but we need to find the height. So this asks us to find the height. We need to identify the bases right here, and our height is this unknown value. So I'm gonna write my formula. I know my area is 150 square feet. I know my base one and base two, but I don't know my height. You can write an H, you can write an S, X, it doesn't really matter, it's just an unknown variable. So my height is 20 feet. Again, we're finding the height in this one. So my height is here, this unknown value. My base is here. So sometimes I like to write the formula like this when I'm trying to find the height. Because then I have this dividing by 2, and to get rid of this dividing by 2, I would multiply by 2. And so 2 over 2 simplifies to one whole, so this just kind of cancels out. And then I multiply the other one by 2. So that's why I sometimes write it that way when I'm finding the height. So my area is 84 
So my height is 12 meters. All right, this one we're finding the height. These are my bases. This is my height. My area is 40. My height is six and two thirds meters. Jennifer has to mow her backyard. Her backyard is the shape of a trapezoid. So I'm going to draw that trapezoid. The two sides that are parallel are 10 feet. Let's make the bigger one 10 feet. 10 feet and five feet. The height of the backyard is six feet. How many square feet does she have to mow? So this is my height, six feet. This is my base. So my area is 45 feet squared. Thanks for watching.